This podcast is brought to you by Voice and Vision, bringing help, hope, and healing to individuals, families, and communities affected by mental illness, addictions, and disabilities in southeastern Pennsylvania. Financial support for this podcast is provided by a Veterans Trust Fund grant from the Pennsylvania Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. Welcome to Untold Valor, a podcast with a unique focus on veterans, featuring stories of courage, recovery, perseverance, and strength. Listen to hear veterans share their perspectives on what it's like to battle mental health challenges, combat addictions, and overcome other adversities unique to those who have served. Time for another episode of Untold Valor with those folks who have served in the military and their stories. Uh, and this time we're going to have Jonathan Bittner back on with us to talk about his time uh, with Compure Core and Voice and Vision, uh, kind of both sides. We got to hear his story uh, as a service person as well as his time afterwards and some of his personal struggles with PTSD. So we're going to talk about that transition and have Jonathan and Reverend Ben back on. Reverend Ben, welcome in. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Hello, guys. Good to have you back again. Jonathan, thanks for joining us again. And we're going to kind of focus as we were wrapping up that that prior show you were on, uh, how you were transitioning and, and getting to be a mental health professional yourself and a psychologist. Uh, and so we're going to talk a little bit about the time with Voice and Vision, Compure Core, and all that kind of stuff. So tell us a little bit about that. And if you would, just kind of re, we've had Olga and some other people on, but kind of reiterate for us the difference between Compure and Compure Core. Sure thing. So my story starts with Compure Core before I became a director of Compere Core. So I had met Valerie, who is part of Voice and Vision, Mm -hmm. where Compere and Compere Core is at least the Philadelphia branch, Delaware County branch falls under Voice and Vision in a way where it's like Voice and Vision is the the easiest way to explain is almost like the parent organization who oversees that specific Compere and Compere Core. So I was on the board of directors with them for a year and heard that they were looking for a director of Compure Core. So Compure Core is, I know Valerie and Olga's been on here, and I've talked a little bit about it, but Compure is a mentorship program where those in recovery are matched up with somebody else in recovery, and they create this mentorship and bonding friendship Where they go out, do things, whether it's bowling, going to the movies, going to the park, and just having those friends. Compere Core is the veteran side of that. So Compere Core works just with veterans. So there could be Vietnam veterans who are matched with other Vietnam veterans or Vietnam veterans who are matched with Iraq, Afghanistan vets. So it just depends on the clients, what they want. So I ran that program for uh, about two years. Mm. Can't believe it was that long. It was such an awesome experience. Um, John, when you say recovery, are you referring to mental health and substance abuse? So mental health and substance abuse. So a lot of our clients would come from our referrals from the VA, other mental health clinicians in the area. Mm. I would also take those who would reach out and saying, hey, I'm lonely, I don't have anybody to talk to Mm -hmm. Um, those who were veterans and I would match them up with volunteers that we had who were veterans and then that way they could connect. So it didn't necessarily have to be a substance abuse related issue or mental health, just a a wide range of individuals that we did help. But there was a lot of uh, people with mental health recovery or substance abuse recovery. Yeah, and I would imagine that you know you're you're looking for help. Maybe you need to talk with a psychologist, things of that nature. But also maybe just having that uh, like-minded person or like-experienced person uh, could go a long way into whatever problem you were dealing with. Just kind of helping to have someone who understood you, right? I mean, who understood similar t- concepts, even if it was different wars. Some of the concepts are still obviously transferable. Yes, and really the biggest thing when you look at veterans and the military culture, it really is its own culture. The language is different than what civilians, as we call people who didn't serve, just the language is different. Experiences are different. So even though veterans serve in different time frames, there still is a lot of similarities and experiences that they can relate with each other with. Yeah. Challenges for 
those looking for help, like, or those thinking, even to the point of your conversation about depression or just being lonely, like, it's hard to, it might be hard to turn around and say, I'm just lonely and I need a friend. I need someone to talk to and I'm not, you know, doing very well in, on that in my own. So it's a struggle for people to ask for help. And I think programs like this are amazing in that. So any kind of experiences you can share with that and, and ways to maybe make that uh, easier if someone's listening and feeling like they're in that category? If you're really feeling like you are lonely, I would definitely reach out to a Compare Core program and see whether or not there is, I want to call it like a chapter in your area that they can can connect you with. Mm -hmm. So when you're lonely, it is hard to reach out because you feel like, well, if I put myself out there, is yeah. somebody going to meet me there? Where am I going to be kind of putting myself out there and waiting and I'm going to be alone yeah so i think many veterans feel that way and since a lot of veterans feel that way there's always people looking for connection and so that's the the fun part about this is you know i worked with veterans in this program who didn't think anybody would be able to be matched with them or that they were the only ones in their community or town that served mm. and it was fun just matching these individuals together and it's like wow I, I never knew there was somebody like you that lived just so close to where i'm at yeah so it's a, a fun and exciting process yeah i would imagine it's a rewarding experience as well yeah it's very rewarding and it's very rewarding because it's life-changing for those who are involved in the program um, veterans that i was able to work with you know who hadn't left their house for so long it was great to see them go out. Our office in Delaware County would have bowling events. And then, unfortunately, COVID happened. Right, so yeah. I was a director of Compure Core, I think about six months right before COVID hit. And unfortunately, once COVID hit, we had to really relearn how to do this program. Uh, a lot of the older vets in, in our program were no longer able to see people or have contact with people other than virtually, yeah. which unfortunately a lot of those veterans didn't have the means or the, or weren't tech savvy in order to be able to connect with those people. So that was a hard, hard piece. COVID really, you know, hindered a lot of things, but I think it grew the program in some other ways. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I think we all certainly had to learn how to you know, process a, a bit of a digital or more digital virtual space uh, through that time period. But connectivity can go a long way. And obviously, you talked about the fact that you're uh, you, you got the plaques on the wall and you got the certificates you're studying and you're growing and you're wanting to help others. Did you kind of always know that that was that was kind of the thing for you? Oh, you talked a little bit about that on the prior show. But as that experience grew, did you just kind of say, yeah, this this definitely solidifies what I'm all about, what I want to accomplish in helping other veterans. Yeah. I eventually got to that point. I actually, to be honest, had no idea what I wanted to do. Mm, okay. So the military was all that I had ever dreamed about doing. I wanted to do 20 years, possibly more than 20 years. Fortunately, I ended up being medically retired in 2013. So there went my career. So I hadn't really thought much about what did I want to do in life? Mm -hmm. But I just knew that I loved the veteran community. I loved helping veterans. And that's why it's, I moved in this direction. You mentioned that the program was beneficial to some veterans who were once isolated and depressed, that they had an opportunity to get out and be amongst the community and other veterans. And I think that's the bright side of the whole story is that uh, Compare Care does have some success stories. Yes. And there's a lot of success stories. And you know, it's easy to focus on here in, you know, the Delaware County office, but Compere Corps is in, in different areas of the country. And just imagine all the veterans that are being helped. And it's almost like Compere Corps is one of those best kept secrets hmm. where it shouldn't be a secret. Right. And unfortunately, people won't know about it unless the information gets out there. And I think that's why this podcast is so exciting is because this quote unquote best kept secret is now not so secret anymore. And we don't want it to be secret, even though I'm no longer 
a part of Compare Core. Compare Core will always be a part of my life. And so it's just I want to spread awareness to this awesome organization too. Yeah, that that's truly amazing. And definitely that's so many people struggle. We talked about that before, just trying to find those outlets. And maybe some, maybe you don't feel comfortable talking with a, a doctor, right, or a psychologist or something like that. But talking again with someone who, you know, looks like you, you know, or experienced what you experienced uh, can go a long way. I mean, that could actually open the door to going and then seeing some a professional because you feel a little more comfortable sharing your conversation with another human being. And sometimes that's just a hard challenge. It really is a hard challenge. And that's a piece where a lot of veterans feel, well, if I say what's going on or if I say how I'm feeling, a doctor, a psychologist, a nurse, whoever it may be, may just throw me in an institution. And I think that's a fear that a lot of veterans have is if they open up and be honest that they'll be locked away or put in a mental health facility for the rest of their lives where if there is a veteran that they are matched with and they're making and forming that relationship and that individual is like, yeah, I've been going to the VA or I've been going to therapy at a private practice for this amount of years and it's helped me. Now that plants a seed in that other veteran's mind of like, wow, you know, here's somebody who's similar to me or maybe just like me who is talking about their experiences And they're not locked away in an institution. And so just that is life changing for some people. Yeah. Opens the door right there. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Reverend Ben. Yes. uh, Jonathan, um, you know, I can identify with that as well because um, it wasn't until somebody told me, gave me some information about some programs that I was able to take advantage of it. Even at the point of uh, waiting for my veteran benefits to come through that I didn't even know I could apply for just by talking to other veterans. So it, it is it is uh, key that veterans talk to other veterans. We can get solutions to all of our problems. Because one thing we have in common, we all bleed green. Yes. And Reverend Ben, just to kind of talk about that a little bit more, is a lot of these services or the processes of how, whether it's disability benefits or going to the VA, there's no handbook yeah. that we're given of here's what you need to do. Here's who you need to talk to. Oftentimes, we find out about this stuff from talking to other veterans. Exactly. Well, and that's to your point earlier, Jonathan, that's one of the reasons that, you know, Valerie and the team at Voice and Vision and we're doing this podcast and, and getting some information out there. So I think with that said, if, if you have any other messages you'd like to share about the organization or just experiences that you saw as we wrap up, we're going to provide information at the end of the podcast here for those who'd like to, uh, you know, get in touch or maybe get started, whether that be uh, a volunteer or needing help, right? I mean, they're always looking for folks on both sides. Yeah. And if you have yet to listen to the episode with Olga, where she was interviewed, I would definitely take a listen to that. And she says in that episode that even if you don't, I believe she said in that episode that even if you don't live in the area, reach out and they'll be able to direct you to somebody who is able to help you and find out, you know, what's going on in your own area. Yeah. Great point. Uh, Reverend Ben, anything else before we wrap up this week? Hey, I think we pretty much covered everything today. Jonathan, thank you so much for your story and for your input. I'm sure somebody listening will benefit. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, absolutely. And whether, again, whether you want to volunteer to help uh, and, or you need help, right? Just reach out, let them know. Uh, the team is here to help you at voiceandvisioninc.org. And again, I'm going to have some more information on here. Jonathan Bittner, thank you again for your time and joining us on the podcast. Thank you. We'll see you next time here on another episode of Untold Valor. You've been listening to Untold Valor by Voice and Vision. We hope you found the information and resources discussed today helpful. As always, thank you for listening and for your support. Remember to stay connected with us through our various social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to visit the website, voiceandvisioninc.org. That's voiceandvisioninc.org, where you can sign up for our blog and find free resources and information on upcoming events, webinars, workshops, and get support. You can also access our free help and hope guide for individuals and families struggling with substance use and addiction. If someone you know is struggling, please reach out for help because you and your life matter. 
Remember, the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is available to you at any time by dialing 988. We are all ambassadors of hope and recovery. And if you want to share your story, please contact us. Compure Corps is also looking for veteran mentor volunteers and veteran participants. To find out more information about Compure Corps, please call 610-541-0790. That's 610-541-0790. You can find all the links and contact information for the resources mentioned on today's episode by checking the description and the show notes section of your app. Thank you again for tuning in and for your support. Until next time, this has been Untold Valor.